Grow Intelligence structures the world's agricultural data, transforming it into searchable information and powerful analytics. Let's get started. To log into Clues, simply go to the Grow Intelligence website, click Login, and enter your account details. You are now looking at a new display. This is where you can begin your data discovery process. Clues currently contains 6.8 million unique data series, a number which grows by the week. As you can see, we currently have our data grouped into 13 unique categories, such as weather and climate, prices, demographics, and trade. To create a component, simply click into any of these categories or click here. As you can see, the categories are again listed on the left. As an example, let's start with trade. Also, if you are ever unsure of what anything means, just check out our dictionary. Let's look at exports of corn from the United States to the rest of the world. You can select the frequency and time range here. Once you've saved your selections, you can also choose how you wish to visualize your data. Of our 16 visualization types, Clues will automatically select the most appropriate. If you wish, you can choose a data source and further configure your component here. I've selected a tree map, which allows you to see how the total share of American corn exports is divided amongst importers. Pop up the timeline to see how this has changed across your selected date range. To go back and edit your selection at any time, click here. All of your displays are automatically saved. To easily identify displays, you can name them here. As you can see, all your displays will be saved in the panel on the left. Let's look at a past display. In this display, we've taken a look at metrics such as production, crop calendars, consumption, and prices for global wheat data. To get a better look, simply click Expand View. You can also export data into CSV or XLS format. Should you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us through the help portal here. You can write a message and even attach a screenshot of what you're working on. Thanks for watching our tutorial. 